Fighter Fest, we got Chris Jericho and Orange Cassidy, which yeah. Chris Jericho has stated is one of his best matches he's had in AEW. He is actually now saying it's one of the best matches he's had in his entire career. Wow. With no fans. Yeah. Well, so here's the deal. The last time he did this, which was Stadium Stampede, the show did like a really big pay-per-view number. It's the biggest number AEW's ever done. I'm not saying it's because Chris Jericho tweeted that you got to watch Stadium Stampede and it was one of the greatest matches of my career, but it appeared that that worked. So perhaps he's going to the well again, knowing that, you know, it's a big night and everything and NXT's got a real big main event, perhaps. But um, I don't know. Um, I, 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 I'm sure he wouldn't do it if the match wasn't good, but it's... Um, yeah, no fans. It's hard. It's like, how do you judge? Well, you got to have some really good fans in the audience. I guess it's you know, it's like I mean, like you know when you're you know when you're in a match and you know it's good for the most part. So you know, so but but with no fans, it's like it's just it's just tough. Um, you know, so so um, especially with Orange Cassidy. You know what I mean? It's like Orange Cassidy. If they're, you know, the fans make Orange Cassidy. I mean, it's without the fans. It's just some dude standing around, you know. So, um, but, you know, whatever. We'll see. We'll see Wednesday. We'll see. See how, how it works out. We'll see how the Chris Jericho Orange Cassidy segment does. We'll see how uh, it overall does. We'll see how the match is. So, there you go. We got Lance Archer versus Joey Janela. Yeah. So, probably a big win for lance archer um i mean joey janelle works real hard so but probably take some crazy bumps because it's a big show Nyla rose will be facing a tba yeah so probably a big win for her yeah cole Cabana in the dark order versus socal uncensored in a six-man tag yeah cole cabana Brody lee and Stu grayson Yes. Um, I mean, should be okay. I, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not like, I don't hear that and go get super excited or anything. It's, you know, it's, it just sounds like a match. We got FTR and the Young Bucks against the Butcher, the Blade, and the Lucha Brothers. Mm hmm. Then I think this yeah. match is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. I think it will be too. I th and, and they probably have some storyline to it because. You've got to tease tension with the Young Bucks against, um, you know, uh, FTR. And Phoenix and Pentagon haven't teamed up in, in a long time on, on the show. So Phoenix is going to be just like chomping at the bit to do great stuff. And um, it's the first time that FTR has ever been in the ring with uh, Phoenix and Pentagon. So, um, and you've got Butcher and Blade as well. So, but yeah, I, I, I got high hopes for this one. And finally, we've got the Kenny Omega Adam Page versus private party match for the AW World. Oh, there's one more. Also, also, Cody is going to be doing an open challenge for the TNT title. Excellent. What? So, Kenny Omega and Page versus private party. Yeah, I mean, like we said before, it, it could be, it could be crazy. It could be really good. It could be. Um, I mean, it will it will have a lot of great moves. It may be a great match. It may not be a great match. I don't know. It's uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but I mean, it, I'm sure there'll be a lot of crazy moves in the match. All right. So who's going to be Cody's mystery man? It's going to no be idea. a new signee. I have no idea. I have no idea who the mystery man is. It's a uh, open challenge. Open challenge. Whoever whoever comes out first. Out of the dressing room at that moment. Well, now it's they all know. So, yeah. So, did you all see? Right. Uh, you didn't see BTA, did you? I have not seen BTE. No. Oh, um, there was an interesting thing at the end. It's. It's. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that was there. Um, you know, a tease of the old Kenny Omega coming back. Um, he said that he has a wish. Um, what's it called? You know, like um. Oh God. What's the thing when you, you know, when you register for a wedding or something, 
So like he, he someone saw like he's registering for like new hair extensions and they showed him backstage with the broom cleaning up. So they were doing kind of a tease of that and saying that like, you know, he's going to do that that character that like the young bucks couldn't remember the name of it, you know, pretending they couldn't remember the cleaner. He goes that they were he's he's looking like he's uh going to do that character that everyone on Reddit wants him to do again. And um they did a thing at the end with um the the young bucks and page and omega and at first they were just kind of um talking about like how they were just kind of like making fun of the finish of the keith lee and um adam cole match leaking and they kind of it was kind of like said like uh like you know we um you know maybe we shouldn't be taking so many cheap shots but god they make it so so easy like that and then, um, but at the end, um, Adam Page, like, he kind of talks about how those guys, like, you know, you guys made me, you made me and everything like that, and I'll always love you for it, but I don't like you guys. <laughs> and, um, and he made some reference, like, you're, you're something that you like, uh, signatures on your high school yearbook. So I don't know what that's all about, but that was an interesting thing. And have you seen the Frankie Kazarian character? No. Okay, so Frankie Kazarian's doing this character where he's um, spoofing somebody, and I'm not sure who it is. He's, like, talking with a southern accent, and he thinks he's in the 80s. So it's probably Honky Tonk Man. That's my thought was Honky Tonk Man, but it, it always could be Jim Cornette being, you know, that those guys don't like Jim. Well, nobody likes Jim Cornette these days, but, but they don't. And... Um, so maybe that's who it is, uh, but I think it's Honky Tonk Man. And he made some reference about like Matt Hardy wanting to do a you know hip hop takeover, hip hop takeover, and he's going like, I don't do that flippy shit <laughs> like that. And then um, they also did a thing with um, uh, Peter Avalon and Brandon Cutler and um, uh, Leva Leva Bates, um, you know, and it's like a quiz about tag teams. And, um, what, there was one line that was pretty funny where, um, oh, 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 they were talking about like, um, Matt, the, the young bucks were giving him a quiz and they go, okay, you're in a match and you've been beaten down and you're like selling and the guy puts on a chin lock. What do you do? And he goes like, you know, I, I, um, I start shaking and I, uh, start hitting the mat and i start like uh you know trying to get the crowd to, to pick up and then they go like there is no crowd there's only austin gun <laughs> like that and um they asked like leva bates um if a guy's bouncing off the ropes and comes near you what do you do and she goes i uh trip him <laughs> like that so um and they were asking peter avalon about if, if once he is gets to your corner and does the hot tag like what do you do and he goes well i grab the tag ropes he goes we don't have any tag ropes <laughs> like that so they were just kind of like making fun of traditional tag team wrestling and uh what you're supposed to do and i guess that that they do, that they do none of it well that's a good build to the ftr match because yeah. they do all of it yeah yeah that's and, gonna be and, the stipulation there must be a tag rope yeah, yeah. Well, actually, like, um, they were kind of teasing more Omega and Page against FDR. Well, because of the thing on TV where Kenny Omega poured out the beer and, um, Omega was kind of having second thoughts about pouring out the beer because he was thinking that, like, you know, they didn't really do anything wrong. You know, they offered me a beer. Maybe I was really a dick about that. He goes, I was just mad because their philosophy of wrestling is so different from mine. So I think that we're supposed to feud. But maybe they're nice guys and they did choose AEW to, to come wrestle in. So I guess that the whole thing is, is like everybody thinks they're supposed to hate FTR. But so far, like FTR hasn't done anything to make them hate them yet. Although there's got, they've got to do dissension uh, between the Young Bucks and FTR, even if it's just a small tease. I mean, it has to be done. They they can't do that match without it on on Wednesday. All right. So the NXT show, Keith Lee, Adam Cole, winner take all match, NXT title and the North American title on the line. Yeah, I think it was, I think that match is going to be great. I think that match is going to do a big number, and I mean better. It's title versus title. You couldn't. I mean, it's a freaking pay-per-view main event, right? 
they better do they better do good with that um i mean as, as far as a match goes and i mean they're probably the two most interesting male characters on the show probably the two most interesting characters period on the show right now um you know lee's got lee's got all the momentum from november and adam cole's been a real steady champion so yeah that should be um i bet it's i bet they have like a long pay-per-view caliber match like top level pay-per-view caliber match yeah yeah and candice LeRae in a street fight yeah well um i guess it'll be fine i mean they've been working with each other and um it's been it's been good generally so yeah and we also have Breezango and Drake Maverick versus Santos Escobar, Joaquin Wilde, and Raul Mendoza. Yeah. Um, Raul Mendoza, at least, and, and Joaquin Wilde are both really talented guys who have not had any chance to, at all to show much in NXT, just little glimpses here and there. So this could be a good shot for them. Um, you know, obviously, I think they're going to, they, they should win, you know, I think. Um, cause it just feels to me that Breeze and Fandango are just there to kind of put people over. So, so that's what I think will happen. 